Why we want to sack Tenobu APM tells Supreme Court. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Nigerian Opposition Political Party, the Allied People's Movement, APM, has approached the Supreme Court adducing reasons why it wants to nullify the election of President Bola Tenobu. The party, in a, in a 10 round of appeal it lodged before the Apex Court, maintained its position that Tunimi was not eligible to participate in the presidential poll on February 25th. It alleged that the presidential election petition court PEPC relied on technicality to dismiss the petition it filed to challenge Tunimi's nomination by the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. According to the party, the Justice Haruna Samani led five-member panel of the PEPC earned in law when it wrongfully waived aside the allegation that Tenebu's running mate and Vice President Kashim Shetima was nominated twice for different positions by the All Progressive Congress in relation to the 2023 general elections. In the notice of appeal, the party filed through its team of lawyers led by Mr. Chupu Mamachuku Ume San, it faltered the verdict the PEPC delivered on September 6th, insisting that it was wrong for the court to dismiss a case against Tunibu's election on the premise that it was not only incompetent but contained pre-selection issues. Pre-election issues, rather. It argued that sections 131 and 1421 of the 1999 Constitution, as amended, we are inextricably linked and neither can be confined as a pre-election matter and as these qualifications are conditions precedent to being elected to the office of the president. The appellant petition was not one founded solely on nomination but primarily, but primarily that the third responded to number contested the presidential election without a lawful associate running as, vice, as his vice president. That the withdrawal of Mr. Ibrahim Masari, fifth respondent, and the expiry of the 14 days permissible for changing the withdrawal or death candidates under the Section 33 of the Electoral Act 2022 made the third respondent election and return invalid. He told the Apex Court that the PEPC abandoned its duty and jurisdiction of hearing and determining the question of whether President Tunumbu and Vice President Shetima were validly elected under law in view of provisions of Section 2391 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. The, oil, the Allied People's Movement therefore urged the Supreme Court to hold that the PEPC became interested in the technical issues solely beneficial to the third and the fourth respondents in the appeal, Tenebu and Shetima, rather than concentrating on whether they were validly elected or not. He contended that being validly elected entailed being qualified to contest the election, adding that valid election include the threshold of qualification and disqualification as stipulated in the Constitution. Consequently, the party prayed the Apex Court to set aside the judgment of the PEPC and allow its appeal by declaring that President Turimbo was not qualified to contest the presidential election having violated the provisions of Section 1421 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The party also prayed for a declaration that a return of Tenebu by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, was null, void, of no legal effect whatsoever. That the withdrawal of the fifth respondent, Ibrahim Masari, as vice presidential candidate, as Tunimbu by the operations of the law, amounted to automatic withdrawal and invalidation of the candidates of the All Progressive Congress. More so, it urged the Supreme Court to issue an order nullifying and voiding all votes called by the All Progressive Congress in the presidential election of February 25th, as well as to make an order directing INEC to return the second highest score at the election as the winner of the presidential contest. It will be recalled that the PEPC dismissed the APM's petition after it held that the Vice President Chetima was validly nominated as Tunibu's running mate by the APC. The court noted that the APM raised in, raised its, raised in its petition 
contain pre-election materials that could only be determined by the Federal High Court. It stressed that since the petition centered on Tunibu's qualification or otherwise to contest the presidential election, the Allied People's Movement ought to have gone to court within 40 days after Tunibu was nominated by the APC. Besides, the court held the APM lacked the local standing the legal right to challenge Tunibu's candidacy, noting that the Supreme Court had earlier decided that a political party does not have the right to challenge a nomination that was made by another political party. It held that where an election has already been conducted and results declared, the qualification of a candidate could no longer be challenged on the basis section 131 and 137 of the Constitution. The court held that since the APM failed to challenge President Tinubu's nomination within the constitutionally allowed period, his case therefore has become statute barred. The court held that the issue of double nomination as conversed by the All Allied People's Movement was not a legal, legally cognizable ground for disqualification. According to PEPC, evidence before Evidence before it attested to the fact that Shetima Duli withdrew his candidacy for Brano Central Senatorial District on July 6, 2022, before he was nominated as Tunibu's running mate. Likewise, the court maintained that illegal, that illegal disputes over Shetima's nomination and Tunibu's candidacy has since been settled by the Supreme Court. It tells that a case having been decided by the APS Court, no person was permitted to litigate on it again. The APM had in its petition Mark CA PEPC 04 2023 argued that the withdrawal of Mr. Masari, who was initially nominated as the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, invalidated Trimble's candidacy in the view of Section 13, Section 131C of the 142 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. The party argued that there was a gap of about three weeks between the period that Masari, who was listed as the fifth respondent to the petition, expressed intention to withdraw the actual withdrawal of his purported nomination and the time Srinibu purported to replace him with Senator Kashim Shetima. It further argued that Srinibu's candidate had elapsed as at the time he nominated Shetima as Masari's replacement. It was the position of a party that, as the time, that as at the time Tunibu announced Shetima as the vice presidential candidate, he was no longer in a position constitutionally to dominate a running mate since he has ceased to be a presidential candidate of a second respondent having regards to the provision of section 142 of the 1999 constitution. The APM contended that Masari's initial nomination activated the joint ticket principle enshrined in the constitution stressing that his subsequent withdrawal invalidated the said joint ticket. Let's continue to wait to hope on the Supreme Court ruling on this matter. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.